Hello everyone, welcome back to our catechism lesson. Today we're on lesson 30, and we're continuing with the Ten Commandments. So last time we talked about all Ten Commandments. Today we're just going to talk about the first commandment. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. O my God, I firmly believe that thou art one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I believe that thy divine Son became man and died for our sins, and that he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe these and all the truths which the Holy Catholic Church teaches, because thou hast revealed them, who canst neither deceive nor be deceived. O my God, relying on thy almighty power and infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of thy grace, and life everlasting, through the merits of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer. O my God, I love thee above all things, with my whole heart and soul, because thou art all good and worthy of all love. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of thee. I forgive all who have injured me, and ask pardon of all whom I have injured. O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins, because I dread the loss of heaven and the pains of hell, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to confess my sins, to do penance, and to amend my life. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so we're on lesson 30th on the first commandment. First question, what is the first commandment? Altogether, the first commandment is, I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. How does the first commandment help us to keep the great commandment of the love of God? The first commandment helps us to keep the great commandment of the love of God because it commands us to adore God alone. How do we adore God? We adore God by faith, hope, and charity by prayer and sacrifice. How may the first commandment be broken? Altogether, the first commandment may be broken by giving to a creature the honor which belongs to God alone, by false worship, and by attributing to a creature a perfection which belongs to God alone. Do those who make use of spells and charms, or who believe in dreams, in mediums, spiritists, fortune tellers, and the like, sin against the first commandment? Altogether, those who make use of spells and charms, or who believe in dreams, in mediums, spiritists, fortune tellers, and the like, sin against the first commandment 
because they attribute to creatures perfections which belong to God alone. Are sins against faith, hope, and charity also sins against the first commandment? Sins against faith, hope, and charity are also sins against the first commandment. How does a person sin against faith? A person sins against faith, one, by not trying to know what God has taught, two, by refusing to believe all that God has taught, and three, by neglecting to profess his belief in what God has taught. How do we fail to try to know what God has taught? Altogether, we fail to try to know what God has taught by neglecting to learn the Christian doctrine. Who are they who do not believe all that God has taught? They who do not believe all that God has taught are the heretics and infidels. Who are they who neglect to profess their belief in what God has taught? Altogether, they who neglect to profess their belief in what God has taught are all those who fail to acknowledge the true church in which they really believe. Can they who fail to profess their faith in the true church in which they believe expect to be saved while in that state? They who fail to profess their faith in the true church in which they believe cannot expect to be saved while in that state. For Christ has said, Whoever shall deny me before men, I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. Are we obliged to make open profession of our faith? We are obliged to make open profession of our faith as often as God's honor, our neighbor's spiritual good, or our own requires it. Whosoever, says Christ, shall confess me before men, I will also confess him before my Father who is in heaven. Which are the sins against hope? The sins against hope are presumption and despair. What is presumption? Altogether, presumption is a rash expectation of salvation without making proper use of the necessary means to obtain it. What is despair? Altogether, Despair is the loss of hope in God's mercy. How do we sin against the love of God? We sin against the love of God by all sin, but particularly by mortal sin. Okay, very good. Let's scroll all the way back up to Question number 318, 318. The question is, how may the first commandment be broken? And let's go through that answer. So the answer says, the first commandment may be broken by giving to a creature the honor which belongs to God alone. Let's stop there. So what does it mean to give to a creature the honor which belongs to God alone. Well, we know that God is all-powerful. He's almighty. He, he knows everything. He's present everywhere. And he lives in heaven. Uh, so we should honor him. He's a very honorable being. Now let's say we see a dog that's running by and we give honor to that dog like we should give honor to God 
you know, we bow down before the dog and we, we sing praises to the dog and we hold religious services for the dog and uh, we would know that that's, that's not right. We're giving to the dog the honor that belongs to God alone. So it's like we're treating the dog as if the dog was a god, as if the dog was God, and that's not true. So we would be breaking the first commandment. Now that's what we mean by attributing to a creature a perfection which belongs to God alone. For example, one perfection that belongs to God alone is that he knows everything. God knows all things. And only God knows everything. There's no one else who knows everything. But if we go around saying that my cousin Dan knows everything and we and we we really believe it, then we're breaking the first commandment because we're attributing to a creature, to to Dan, our cousin Dan, a perfection which belongs to God alone. Only God knows everything. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy the game quiz for this week, and I'll see you next time as we learn about more of the Ten Commandments. Take care, guys. God bless.